Welcome back to Airgun Academy, the series that helps identify the right airgun for you. We looked at different types of pellets way back in episode 4, so you may want to look at that episode after watching this one. In this episode, we're going to look at the four small bore airgun calibers and what they're best used for. There are big bore airgun calibers as well. 9mm, 45 caliber, and 50 caliber are the most popular but we'll talk about those in a future episode. For now, we'll be taking a specific look at each small bore caliber and go over them in detail. Come on, let's get started. The four different small bore air gun calibers are 177, 20, 22, and 25. The 177 caliber is the smallest and lightest pellet on the market. It's also the most popular and has been for many decades. As a result, you'll find a lot more pellet guns in 177 caliber than any other. In other countries, this caliber is more often referred to as 4.5 millimeter. But in the US, it's always been called the 177. Because they're the smallest, 177 caliber pellets use less material than the other calibers and are usually less expensive. Additionally, all World Cup and Olympic competitions are shot exclusively with 177 caliber target pellets. No other caliber is permitted. As a result, all 10 meter target rifles and pistols are made in 177 caliber. 177 caliber air guns can be used for almost anything, even hunting. But a hunter needs to be careful where he places his shot because the pellets are so small. Also, if you hunt with 177 caliber pellets, make sure they're the right type. There's no margin for error with this caliber when using them for humane game hunting and small pest elimination. This caliber is also very popular for plinking, general shooting, and various types of specialized competition, like field target, silhouette, and action pistol. The 177 caliber is extremely popular for air pistols because the smaller pellets can reach respectable velocities even with smaller power plants. 177 caliber pellets are ideal for plinking and general shooting because of the relatively low cost. You can shoot as much as you want and not break the bank. 177 is usually the fastest caliber, all other things being equal. However, High speed in an air gun isn't necessarily a good thing. As we've discussed before, once pellets go much faster than 900 to 950 feet per second, they start losing accuracy. You can also find the widest selection of pellet weights and shapes because it's so popular. That increases your chances of finding the best pellet for your air gun. Next up is the 20 caliber pellet. The 20 caliber was first introduced by the Sheridan Company back in 1947. It was chambered exclusively for that brand of airgun until the 1980s, when Beeman Precision Airgun started offering several European adult spring rifles in 20 caliber. Today, there are 20 caliber airguns in most of the power plant categories. CO2 is the one category that doesn't offer very many 20 caliber airguns. And keep in mind, your choice of 20 caliber pellets is limited. There are far fewer 20 caliber pellets than 22 caliber pellets, and the 177 caliber far exceeds both of them put together. 20 caliber was touted as a compromise between 177 and 22, though it lies closer to 22 in most respects. 20 caliber pellets cost more than 177 caliber pellets, and they're packaged fewer to a container. 20 caliber is supposed to shoot flatter than 22, but with today's power plants, there really isn't much difference. Since the upper velocity is limited at around 900 to 950 feet per second for accuracy reasons, all calibers except 25 shoot about as flat as each other. There are a few 20 caliber air pistols, but they're not very popular. Now, let's take a look at 22 caliber pellets. 22 is the caliber that was the most popular in the United States until the 1960s. The pellets weigh almost twice as much as 177 caliber pellets, 
and their larger diameter makes this caliber best suited for hunting and pest elimination. Recent developments in air guns have boosted 22 caliber pellets up into the supersonic, so there's no longer the velocity difference that once existed between 22 and the 177. As a consequence, and because the heavier 22 caliber pellets aren't as affected by wind, 22 caliber is the best caliber for long range accuracy. There are a few air pistols in 22 caliber and most of them are in the CO2 and pneumatic power plant types. Most spring pistols just don't have what it takes to propel these larger pellets fast enough. As far as pellet selection goes, the 22 caliber pellet has more types than any other caliber except 177. And there are some wonderful premium pellets made in this caliber. 22 caliber pellets are more expensive than 177s, but are about the same price as 20 caliber pellets. 22 caliber pellets are usually packaged in smaller quantities per container, so you might want to take that into consideration. Let's move on to the last category of small bore air gun pellets, the 25 caliber. .25 caliber has been around for over a century, but it was always the least popular caliber. That's because the guns weren't able to propel the large, heavy pellets nearly as fast as .22 and .177 caliber pellets. But modern technology has changed all that. Today, there are air rifles that can shoot lightweight .25 caliber pellets past the sound barrier. There are fewer pellet types in .25 caliber than any other caliber, and most of them are designed for hunting. 25 caliber is a big favorite among hunters of larger air gun game animals. This is not a good caliber for air pistols, except in the pre-charged pneumatic class. The other power plants still cannot generate enough power to drive these larger pellets fast enough. 25 caliber pellets are the most expensive pellets of the four small bore calibers. They're also packaged in the smallest amounts per container. There are far fewer air guns made in 25 caliber, although that's starting to change. We're now seeing many more new air rifles in 25 caliber, and the future for this caliber looks bright. In this episode, we talked about the four small bore air gun calibers. You also got a bit of a history lesson, so show off what you know at parties. Let's recap what we just learned. The smallest, least expensive pellet is the 177 caliber. This pellet is good for everything, but it's marginal for hunting. The 20 caliber pellet is a compromised caliber between 177 and 22. Fewer pellets are made in this caliber, and they're good for everything except formal air gun competition. Also, they're about as expensive as 22 caliber. The traditional hunting pellet is the 22 caliber. These are not used for formal target shooting, and they're expensive if all you're doing is plinking. But some of the most powerful air guns are made in 22 caliber. The largest and most expensive pellet is the 25 caliber. This caliber is used almost exclusively for hunting, and it develops the most muzzle energy of any pellet. There are fewer types of 25 caliber pellets than any other caliber. Keep on watching and we'll help you find the right air gun for all your shooting needs. And check back for more episodes that deal with different air guns for a variety of uses. Thanks for watching Air Gun Academy. Stay tuned for another great lesson from Pyramid Air.